you guys and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to see you guys like welcome back let's get this party started i'm really excited to talk about this because it was a very interesting experience for me because i'm a very skeptical person i'm going to tell you all about my first psychic reading that i've ever had ever the whole thing is that i grew up in a very religious household in things like psychics and like you know witches and wizards and whatever you would call that magic I don't know what do you even call that all that stuff is looked down upon but now that I'm older and I really don't like I'm not really religious I thought it would be really interesting to go to a psychic and see what happens so me and Bill were going to New Orleans and I was looking for essential oil shops like places that would sell essential oils I found this one shop called Earth Odyssey I was like, perfect, perfect. I can just buy all my essential oils there. They also had like gems. Like the place looked beautiful. When I looked closer to the website, they talked about how they do psychic readings and they have all of these psychics. It looked so freaking interesting. So you know what? I was like, look, if it's $30 or under for a reading, I will totally do one. So me and Bill went to New Orleans and of course we were like shopping and stuff and we go to the place. First thing when you walk in the door, she says, hi, welcome to Earth Eye to see. Don't be scared to look around. Um, we do do psychic readings. If you want to know about that, just let me know. And I'm like, yeah, actually, I'm pretty interested. So she took me aside. She's like, okay, well, here's what we offer. There's a lot of different kinds of psychic readings they offer there. Like, they have, like, African shell readings. They read your aura and angel readings. Like, they have all kinds of readings. And she said since it's my first time that, you know, tarot card readings are always, like, really interesting and really fun because it, know, like, it tells you about your future and your present. And, I mean, it kind of covers everything. So, <laughs> I was like, how much is it? She's like, it's $30. So, I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm doing this. The person who did my reading, his name is the Divine Prince. And he's really chill. Like, he's really cool. He's a very tall like handsome black man you can tell he's older and he has like these huge dreads and he had them like up and he just looked really like man he looked really authentic like if you're gonna go to New Orleans for like a psychic reading this guy like really freaking authentic I would say overall walking in I was extremely skeptical walking out I was impressed but still pretty skeptical so I walked in I sat down Bill was next to me of course he was kind of like off in the corner on the little extra chair and he started to like ask me questions like are there any questions you want to know anything you want to know about about your future this and that and you know at the time I was kind of like was not prepared for this because I kind of thought it was like a what if maybe I'll do it maybe I won't and then I ended up doing it and I was like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I mean, now I can think of like a billion questions in the world. I, I could, I question everything. So why I had no questions, I have no idea. But I mean, me and Bill have been looking at a house. So, you know, I asked him, I said, well, me and my boyfriend were looking at potentially getting a house. Um, maybe you can see like how that's gonna go, if it's gonna come to fruition, like if it's a good place for us to go. So he drew the cards, which they're tarot cards, which they were really cool. They were like Egyptian themed and I've always been a fan of Egypt. So that was kind of like weird, but you know, whatever coincidence. He got all good stuff. Like everything was good. He saw contracts, which means it'll go forward. There was like a horse or something, which means you need to move quickly. Um, he said, just like move quickly, be prompt. Don't wait, just do it. Like go Nike. And everything else seemed very, very positive. Everything was a positive move, a big step, a big change, big positive change, big positive steps. And then he got the devil card. So that made me super nervous. He's like, he's like, I don't know what this card would be about. Like, I do you, can y'all think of anything this card would be about? And uh, we were kind of like, we couldn't really think of anything. Like, why? So after we talked about the house, for some reason, he really drew himself to Bill. He's like, look, I'm sorry that I'm going to interrupt this, but I'm feeling something very strongly about your friend. Y'all are together, right? Y'all are married. And I'm like, oh, well, mm, mm, no. He's like, because on the table, y'all are coming up as a married couple. <laughs> Bill. <coughs> We were coming up as an old married couple and he said you have leadership potential you have organization you're good with numbers like you two together are there's something really special about you two being together 
and he said like our relationship we have a really good relationship like everything seems very very positive about our relationship and he says I'm more of like the drive and Bill's more like the backseat organizer making sure everything is like falling into place type of person which I mean it hits us to a T but he said about both of us which connected us both was we are never going to be happy or feel successful working under other people he said that personality conflicts he even said like political conflicts which like my life I'm politically I don't match up with a lot of people that I work with in my area which is so so accurate sometimes you know he said that we're both just like really creative artsy people like we no one we're not gonna be happy with anyone being our boss only when we are our boss we are the type of people who we will be miserable unless we are our own bosses so that was really really interesting he went on to say that we are so good together that he sees us opening a business now this is where i get kind of skeptical because me and bill are in absolutely no position to open a business but he said that it's going to be something creative it's going to be something artsy it's going to be something out there it's going to be weird and y'all are weird people and he said y'all are not mold y'all aren't molded people y'all are breaking molds like don't try to be normal I know that's what y'all are trying to do don't try to be normal y'all are not normal y'all are not cookie cutter like you will be miserable trying to work your whole life cookie cutter like it's just not gonna happen and like that is so me and Bill like we're so weird and awkward and we have so many different talents that we just kind of like push aside so we can survive so that really hit home for us and he said that we should really work on opening the business quickly that it would be like a mom and pop type deal I would be like the face of the business the one who's always greeting people the one who's getting people to come the one who's like motivating people to come and like buy our product and then Bill's gonna be the one in the background like organizing making sure things flow smoothly creating new events like doing stuff like that um, being kind of like the managerial ownership type guy and then I'm just like the crazy one that makes everyone come shop there he said that if we act now our business will be open by next Christmas which I mean like me and Bill are in no position to open a business right now like we always talk about opening a business like we have had so many amazing idea for ideas for opening a business in our town but in our town it's just such a small town that I feel like our talents and our products would not be utilized correctly in a smaller town we would need a bigger town setting um, but with bigger towns comes with a lot of craziness us moving and you know it's just a lot of stipulation when it comes to like a bigger town but he said that our business would be extremely successful we would never have any issues with like financial stuff he said it looks like y'all might go through a hard time or two but y'all will always make it through financially so that was really really interesting like he really went off on that he was very passionate about it like he that was the most serious voice I've ever heard in my life from anybody and it was like okay yes sir Mm -hmm. yeah once again he saw a lot of contracts in that like the whole like future thing he saw a lot of contracts so he also said in our relationship he saw a contract so I'm guessing I think he went alluding to the lines of yeah that's gonna be your marriage contract and then I said well what are you getting with me like in my future like cuz I'm just having so much debate over everything and he pretty much hit my nail on the head and um that blew my mind he pretty much said I'm as confident as I let myself be which is so real because I find myself cutting myself down and like stopping myself like stopping myself from saying things and um he's just like you're only as confident as you want to be you can be that background person but usually you always step up to the plate as a leader and you are almost uncomfortable not being the leader in a situation and you know that is so true to me I like leading and he said even when it's difficult to lead or if you have a difficult group to lead you're always stepping up to the plate you're always serious about what you're doing and you always have everyone's best intentions in mind which is really great he also said <clears throat> you're you are personally on a journey for truth you are on a journey for facts you are tired of being lied to you feel like you've been lied to your whole life and man that hit me hard he was like you are tired of liars you're tired of lying and you're tired of people who believe the lies that they made you believe and man I could go I can make a whole video about that but I'm not ready to make that video yet I'm thinking maybe this year um, I will be but right now at this time of my life I feel like I'm not ready to make that video my family's not ready to see that video if they stumble across it so it's not gonna be made yet <laughs> but yeah that hit me so hard and of course I wanted to know 
what my YouTube was about. Now, I was like, well, should I bring up YouTube? And Bill's like, I don't know. That's kind of inappropriate. And then he was like, no, I make 80% of my income on social media. Like, social media is extremely important. So I asked him what my YouTube, what was going to happen. He asked me how many followers I had. And he said, that is a very good number for where you are right now. He proceeded to tell me, like, he read my cards. And he said, okay, I'm getting some stuff about you. So this is a good card, this is a bad card, which pretty much means your YouTube can either go very, very wrong or it can go extremely right and you're gonna be very successful. He said, now the thing that's gonna decide your fate is driving your, your message home. Like you don't have a true message which is true, this this whole YouTube is kind of just like me, like, barfing all over a video camera every single, you know, video. And he said, no, you need to get, like, a central theme, or a couple different central themes, figure out what I'm doing with my YouTube, pick topics, and stick to them, which is so hard, because I originally made this channel as Hannah's Historical Kitchen, and I wanted to do, like, some other things here and there, but I didn't realize it would turn into, like, this monster it's become, which is me, like, buying things and then, like, showing them to you. I did not know that was going to exactly happen, but I did, and, um, now I'm just trying to focus on what I actually want to do with this channel. He also said that you're really good at selling products that you want to get, that you want to sell, like, you want people to buy the things you're selling and you're good at making them do it, which is extremely accurate. He also said that you're good at pushing people to be better and I, I mean, I guess, I guess it's accurate, sort of, I don't know. Overall, it was very much like self-reflecting. I really like that quality about the whole experience. You know, I can't say that I believe everything. I can't say that I believe in that sort of thing and I know like the parallels are just so crazy but you know I still I'm such a skeptic about everything in my life and this was just a fun experience it kind of Bill was extremely surprised at how accurate everything was like he was flabbergasted like that was an experience that he really really enjoyed and I think it was like it was just really nice it was really cool I think it's really complicated right now. I don't know what I believe anymore, and um, that was very, very insightful, and I was very impressed, and I would totally, totally do it again, and if you live in, like, Louisiana somewhere and you visit New Orleans, like, frequently, I totally suggest you go to Earth Odyssey, which is an amazing store. Like, if you don't want a reading, that's cool. They sell awesome, like, gems. I got this beautiful amethyst piece, and it was, everything's very fairly priced there I feel like they're not trying to like you know heckle you um heckle I don't even think that's what I'm looking for they're not trying to like scam you uh, I feel like everything is very very nice very very neat they really do care about their customers they care about their reputation and they're not gonna sell you something that they wouldn't buy themselves and it, everything's just high quality they wouldn't tell you something that they wouldn't you know tell a family member they're really really nice and really sweet and very patient with you if you have any questions they know every every single item in that shop they know exactly how much it costs where it's from what year it was created what year it was exhumed like that shop is the bomb so yeah, it was an overall positive experience. It gave me and Bill a lot of things to think about and talk about. And, you know, it gave us, like, hopes for the future and kind of, like, you know, gave us some new ideas for things we can do in our future. So I think overall it was a very positive experience. I'm still kind of sketchy on the whole psychic thing. But, I mean, next time we go to New Orleans, I'm totally getting it done again. Like, he said this is, like, in the next six months to a year this stuff is gonna happen so it was very very interesting that is kind of like a right now yet slash future thing and I, I think everyone should do it even if you are deeply religious and you feel like it's a negative thing like oh demons are gonna come possess me or something I really think you should at least open up your mind to different things don't just stick with the religion mommy and daddy gave you like go and explore and if you come back to the religion mommy and daddy gave you, like, you won't have any regrets, you know? You'll just come right back where you were and you will be more tight in your faith. So I personally believe everyone should go do it. Like, if you have a psychic in town that you feel is reputable and is not going to waste your time or your money, who is well-priced, totally go do it. And that's about it. That was my first psychic reading experience and I thought it was great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't go on too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, definitely subscribe to my channel for more crazy story times, for more 
who knows anymore also and how he said I didn't really have like a exact thing I do on my channel like leave below what you like about my channel or what you would like to see about my channel I really like giving advice I like showing you guys what I buy um I like talking to you guys so just let me know in the comments below what you would like me to really put forth in this channel during this new year thank you guys so much and I'm going to see you guys next time namaste and have a great day bye